It is possible to solve an equation using a series of inverse operations as long as the variable you're solving for only appears in one term in the expression, in the equation. Now, even though this is a rather complicated looking equation, um, the x only appears in one place, therefore we can solve it using inverse operations. Inverse operations means do PEMDAS in the opposite direction. You're trying to isolate the x by first adding or subtracting, then multiplying or dividing, then seeing if there's exponentiation to get rid of, and that will usually end up getting rid of your parentheses at the same time. So let's take a look at that. The first thing we can do is say, oh look, there's a plus one. In order to get rid of that plus one, I can do a minus one to both sides of the equation. So I subtract 1 from both sides of the equation. And I now have 4 times the quantity 2x minus 5 to the power of 3 is equal to 108. Then, after adding and subtracting, I see if there's anything I can multiply, divide both sides of the equation by. Well, yes, yeah, sure. There's a 4 that I want to get rid of. Since the 4 is multiplying, I get rid of it by doing a divide by 4. I divide both sides of the equation by 4, and what I have now is 2x minus 5 raised to the power of 3 is equal to 27. Now what I have is an exponentiation. I have a power of 3 that I want to get rid of. The way you undo a power of 3 is to do a third root. So if I do a third root to the left side of the equation, I also have to do a third root to the right side of the equation. The third root undoes the power of 3, and all I'm left with on the left side now is 2x minus 5 equal to the third root of 27, which is 3. Now I go back to my original at the very beginning, addition, subtraction. I can go back to now adding 5 to both sides of the equation. I have 2x is equal to 8. Last step now is just to divide both sides by 2. And my x is now isolated. x is equal to 4 is the final solution.